What's up guys, in this video we'll take a look at how to run the Chaos Flash in Unreal Engine 5.2 I think I might be using 5.3 but it doesn't matter as long as you have Chaos Flash then we'll be able to run it we'll basically be using this few nodes and then simulate a Chaos Flash inside Unreal Engine so to get started what we'll do is first you need to go to Edit, Plugins and then what we'll do is go and find for Chaos Flash. It should be, um, I think it is uh, in version 0.1, it's in beta. So if, if it asks you to restart, then go ahead and restart your Unreal Engine. Once you do that, then we'll just create a new folder. And you can just say Chaos 2 or Chaos Flash. And inside that, we need to create two things. Uh, so if you go underneath physics, you will see a data flow graph make sure you have a data flow graph and another thing you might also need is actually uh, the physics asset so if you go underneath the, the next to physics there is a flesh asset go ahead and name whatever you like for this I'm just going to be using the cube example so double click and open the cube uh, the actually the data flow graph uh, actually on the data flow asset and then you will drag the data flow the um, data flow queue flow into it you'll just save and then open it once you open it you may not see this window it needs to have a data flow viewport go ahead and go to the windows and make sure all of these are selected okay and once we are in there what we can do is right click in here and type in a static mesh and from the static mesh um, what we can do is basically go ahead and select the static mesh okay so that would be a cube for now so we'll just select the cube i'm just using a default cube in here to give you an example but you can go ahead and select the assets from sketchfab or any other places next we'll do is generate tetrahedral collection and make sure you mask the static mesh with the static mesh inside it and from the collection you will drag and then you will look for set flash default properties and make sure the collection is plugged into the collection and finally for the collection you'll just do the flash asset terminal okay and same way you will connect the collection with the collection and for the generate uh, tetrahedral collection make sure you go ahead and select the static mesh that you have so for me it's just going to be another cube and with that cube selected uh, basically what we'll do is we should be able to see it in the viewport if you were to toggle that view option in the flesh asset terminal and I'm just arranging it in here you know to what level I want to see and another thing is there's a the num cell it basically tells you how you want to view in a viewport so I'm just keeping 11 so that you know my CPU doesn't crash or you know my computer doesn't die off uh, that's the reason I'm just keeping it at 11 but feel free to play with the number that you feel like would be good now we have that now go ahead and drag the cube flesh asset into the scene and you can put it up uh, a little bit up in the z direction although you would see it looks a little wonky uh, that's because of the num cells that we have assigned next we need is a deform solver so click on that plus arrow and then if you tie if you press the space bar then it should give you that uh, search option go ahead and select the deform solver actor that's what it's going to solve that deform for that flesh body okay and that's going to be deformable solver actor zero for you because I already had another one so for me that's a new one so go ahead and click the Q flesh and then there should be an option for primary solver and in the primary solver if you were to select the deformable solver and now if we were to go and simulate it you'll see that it actually runs yeah almost like a jelly <laughs> which is very interesting uh, to look at now if you want to make it a little more concrete and not like completely liquid or jelly like the only thing you need to do is go to the Q flesh asset and make sure you change the density to maybe a 0.5 and uh, you can see that it, it still retains the shape of the cube but it is a jelly in nature okay and I also had another piece of 
the asset that I had downloaded from the Sketchfab, yeah, there you can see that it's daily and still retains the shape of the cube. Yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you in understanding the Chaos Flush. Very simple preliminary tutorial I wanted to create. You know, uh, for my tutorial, I well, for my trial, I actually downloaded the uh, Flush of the fish. So basically I downloaded a fish 3 model from Sketchfab and tried to run it. But of course, when I was doing that num cells to 11, then yeah, it definitely did not look so great. And I'm still playing with the material stuff because although I had applied a material on it, um, for some reason it would still show up a little black or dark to me. So I'm still going to play with it and then hopefully maybe release more tutorial on it. For time being, this would be a very preliminary way to get your, you know, chaos flesh working. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any comments, concerns, please leave them in the chat or comment below. And I'll take you on the next one.